The United States Navy Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program (SFTI program), more popularly known as TOPGUN, teaches fighter and strike tactics and techniques to selected naval aviators and naval flight officers who return to their operating units as surrogate instructors. It began as the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School, established on 3 March 1969, at the former Naval Air Station Miramar in San Diego, California. In 1996, the school was merged into the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center at Naval Air Station Fallon, Nevada. History Topic Genesis. In 1968, Chief of Naval Operations (CNO) Admiral Thomas Hinman Moore ordered Captain Frank Alt to research the failings of the U.S. air-to-air -air missiles used in combat in the skies over North Vietnam. Operation Rolling Thunder, which lasted from the 2nd of March 1965 to the 1st of November 1968, ultimately saw almost 1,000 U.S. aircraft losses in about 1 million sorties. Rolling Thunder became the Rorschach test for the Navy and Air Force, which drew nearly opposite conclusions. The USAF concluded that its air losses were primarily due to unobserved MiG attacks from the rear, and were, therefore, a technology problem. The service responded by upgrading its F-4 Phantom II fleet, installing an internal M-61 Vulcan cannon replacing the gun pods carried under the aircraft's belly by Air Force Phantom units, such as the 366th Fighter Wing, developing improved airborne radar systems, and working to solve the targeting problems of the AIM-9 and AIM-7 air-to-air missiles. In May 1968, the Navy published the Alt Report, which concluded that the problem stemmed from inadequate air crew training in air combat maneuvering ACM. This was welcomed by the F-8 Crusader community, who had been lobbying for an ACM training program ever since Rolling Thunder began. Among its wide-ranging recommendations to improve air combat performance, the Alt Report recommended that an advanced fighter weapons school be established at Naval Air Station Miramar to revive and disseminate community fighter expertise throughout the fleet. CNO Mora concurred. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fighter Weapons School. The United States Navy Fighter Weapons School was established on 3 March 1969, at Naval Air Station Miramar, California. Placed under the control of the VF-121, Pacemakers, an F-4 Phantom-equipped replacement air group RAG unit, the new school received relatively scant funding and resources. Its staff consisted of eight F-4 Phantom II instructors from VF-121 and one intelligence officer hand-picked by the school's first officer in charge, Lieutenant Commander Dan A. Pedersen, USN. Together, F-4 aviators Darrell Gary, Mel Holmes, Jim Lang, John Nash, Jim Rulofson, Jerry Sawatsky, J.C. Smith, Steve Smith, as well as Wayne Hildebrand, a naval intelligence officer, built the Naval Fighter Weapons School syllabus from scratch. To support their operations, they borrowed aircraft from its parent unit and other Miramar-based units, such as Composite Squadron VC-7 and Fighter Squadron 126 VF-126. The school's first headquarters at Miramar was in a stolen modular trailer. According to the 1973 Command History of the Navy Fighter Weapons School, the unit's purpose was to train fighter air crews at the graduate level in all aspects of fighter weapons systems including tactics, techniques, procedures and doctrine. It serves to build a nucleus of eminently knowledgeable fighter crews to construct, guide, and enhance weapons training cycles and subsequent aircrew performance. 
This select group acts as the F-4 community's most operationally orientated weapons specialists. Top Gun's efforts are dedicated to the Navy's professional fighter crews, past, present and future. Its objective was to develop, refine, and teach aerial dogfight tactics and techniques to certain fleet aircrews, using the concept of dissimilar air combat training, or DACT, which uses stand-in aircraft to realistically replicate expected enemy aircraft and is widely used in air arms the world over. At that time, the predominant enemy aircraft were the Russian-built transonic MiG-17 Fresco and the supersonic MiG-21 Fishbed. Top Gun initially operated the A-4 Skyhawk and borrowed USAF T-38 Talons to simulate the flying characteristics of the MiG-17 and MiG-21, respectively. The school also used Marine crewed A-6 intruders and USAF F-106 aircraft when available. Later, the T-38 was replaced by the F-5E and F-5F Tiger II. One British writer claimed that the early school was influenced by a group of a dozen flying instructors from the British Fleet Air Arm who were assigned to Miramar as exchange pilots and served as instructors in VF-121. A British newspaper, The Daily Telegraph, declared in a 2009 headline, "'American Top Gun Fighter Pilot Academy set up by British'." However, the British naval pilots mentioned in the article confirmed that the claim was false and that they had no role in creating the curriculum and no access to the classified programs that the Top Gun instructors participated in to refine it. An earlier U.S. Navy air-to-air -air combat training program, the U.S. Navy Fleet Air Gunnery Units, or FAGU, had provided air combat training for naval aviators from the early 1950s until 1960. But a doctrinal shift, brought on by advances in missile, radar, and fire control technology, contributed to the belief that the era of the classic dogfight was over, leading to their disestablishment and a serious decline in U.S. air-to-air combat proficiency that became apparent during the Vietnam War. The pilots who were part of the initial cadre of instructors at Top Gun had experience as students from FAGU, but the Top Gun curriculum at Naval Air Station Miramar in 1968 was not of anyone's creation but their own. Air crews selected to attend the Top Gun course were chosen from frontline units. Upon graduating, these crews would return to their parent fleet units to relay what they had learned to their fellow squadron mates—in essence becoming instructors themselves. During the halt in the bombing campaign against North Vietnam in force from 1968 until the early 1970s, Top Gun established itself as a center of excellence in fighter doctrine, tactics, and training. By the time aerial activity over the North resumed, most Navy squadrons had a Top Gun graduate. According to the USN, the results were dramatic. The Navy kill-to-loss ratio against the North Vietnamese Air Force NVAF MiGs soared from 3.7, 1 1965 to 1967 to 13 to 1 after 1970, while the Air Force, which had not implemented a similar training program, actually had its kill ratio worsen for a time after the resumption of bombing, according to Benjamin Lambeth's The Transformation of American Airpower. The success of the U.S. Navy fighter crews vindicated the fledgling DACT school's existence and led to Top Gun becoming a separate, fully funded command in itself, with its own permanently assigned aviation, staffing, and infrastructural assets. Top Gun graduates who scored air-to-air -air kills over North Vietnam and returned to instruct included Ronald E. Muggs, McEwen and Jack Ench. The first U.S. aces of the Vietnam War, Randy Duke Cunningham and Willie Driscoll, received no official Top Gun training, but had, during F-4 training with VF-121, flown against Top Gun instructors. 
It was not until after the war in Vietnam ended that the Air Force initiated a robust DACT program with dedicated aggressor squadrons. The Air Force also initiated a program to replicate an aircrew's first 10 combat missions known as Red Flag, and the USAF Weapons School also increased emphasis on DACT. The 1970s and 1980s brought the introduction of the F-14 Tomcat and the F-A-18 Hornet as the primary fleet fighter aircraft flown by students, while Top Gun instructors retained their A-4s and F-5s, but also added the F-16 Fighting Falcon to better simulate the threat presented by the Soviet Union's new fourth-generation MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. However, the specially built F-16N developed cracks in the airframe and was retired. Largely due to the end of the Cold War in the 1990s, the Top Gun syllabus was modified to include more emphasis on the air-to-ground strike mission as a result of the expanding multi-mission taskings of the F-14 and F-A-18. In addition, Top Gun retired their A-4s and F-5s in favor of F-16s and F-A-18s in the aggressor squadron. Topic transfer to NSAWC In 1996, the transfer of NAS Miramar to the Marine Corps was coupled with the incorporation of Top Gun into the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center at NAS Fallon, Nevada. In 2002, the Navy began to receive 14 F 16A and B models from the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center that were originally intended for Pakistan before being embargoed. These aircraft which are now designated F-16N, TF-16N are operated by the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center for adversary training and, like their F-16N predecessors, are painted in exotic schemes. Top Gun instructors currently fly the F-A-18A, B, C, D, E, F Hornet and Super Hornet as well as the undelivered Pakistani F-16A, B Fighting Falcon. In 2011, the Top Gun program was inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame at the San Diego Air and Space Museum. Course. Top Gun conducts four power projection classes a year. Each class lasts nine weeks and consists of nine Navy and Marine Corps strike fighter aircraft a mix of single seat F, A 18Cs and S, and two seat F, A 18Ds and Fs. The Top Gun course is designed to train already experienced Navy and Marine Corps aircrews at the graduate level although it is currently not a regionally or nationally accredited educational program in all aspects of strike fighter aircraft employment, which includes tactics, hardware, techniques and the current world threat for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The course includes 80 hours of lectures and 25 sorties that pit students against Top Gun instructors. When a pilot or WSO completes the Top Gun course he, she will return as a training officer carrying the latest tactical doctrine back to their operational squadron or go directly to an FRS squadron to teach new aircrews. SFTIs can also become instructors themselves at Top Gun later in their career. Each year, a small number of aircrews do not meet Top Gun standards and are dropped from the course. Top Gun trains four to six air intercept controllers in each class on advanced command, control, and combat communication skills. They are completely integrated into the course and participate in most of the training missions. These AIC Students, some of whom are E-2C, D Hawkeye Naval Flight Officers, go back to their carrier air wings after graduation and are given the responsibility of training all the air controllers and fighters in their carrier strike groups in the art of air intercept control. Top Gun also conducts an adversary training course, flying with adversary aircrew from each Navy and Marine Corps adversary squadron. 
these pilots receive individual instruction in threat simulation, effective threat presentation, and adversary tactics. Top Gun provides academics and flight training to each carrier air wing during their integrated and advanced training phases ITP, ATP at NAS Fallon which are large-scale exercises that can involve as many as 50 aircraft. These large-scale exercises serve as «dress rehearsals» for future combat scenarios. In addition to training crews, Top Gun also conducts ground school courses six times a year. The Training Officer Ground School offers graduate-level academics to fleet aviators, adversary instructors and other officers and enlisted personnel. Top Gun holds a Strike Fighter Tactics Refresher course also known as Re -Blue, once a year, usually in the fall, bringing current fleet SFTIs back to Fallon for a two-day refresher, updating Top Gun's recommendations. The Top Gun course has changed over time. In the 1970s, it was four weeks long, in the 1980s, five weeks. The final F-4 Phantoms went through the class in March 1985, and the final F-14 Tomcats in October 2003. Programs formerly run by Top Gun that have been transferred to other commands or discontinued include Fleet Air Superiority Training FAST and Hornet Fleet Air Superiority Training HFAST, coordinated programs of academics and simulators, training fighter pilots and WSOs in maritime air superiority in the carrier group arena. See also Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center USN United States Air Force Weapons School Exercise Red Flag Tactics and Air Combat Defense Establishment India Qualified Weapons Instructor United Kingdom Topic Popular culture Top Gun was made famous by the 1986 motion picture Top Gun, starring Tom Cruise. <laughs> Notes <laughs>